Hello, dear students. Uh, my name is Galia Weine, and I'm an English teacher at the Air Force Technological College in Beersheba. And today we're going to have an English lesson. Uh, I hope it's going to be fun and entertaining, and also you're going to learn some new things today. So let's see uh, what's the topic of our lesson. The topic of our lesson is Olympic sports. And uh, in this lesson, we're going to talk about sports, we will learn some new words, we will read an article and answer the questions, and also we're going to practice new vocabulary. Uh, now, I would like to ask you to uh, now to go to the Play Store or Apple Store, whatever you have, and download QR code scanner, because in the end of the lesson, you're going to have a QR code you'll need to scan and um, have a, an additional exercise. Um, all right, so before really digging into studies, um, into really learning something, I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Now you may um, answer those questions in your head or you may answer them out loud. You're not in the class and this is okay. No one can hear you in case if you're embarrassed. Uh, and then you may uh, see the options of the answers that I'm going to say. Uh, if you don't know how to answer those questions, you may just repeat after me and this way you can also practice your speaking. Okay, so Olympic sports. The first question is, do you like sports? Think, why would you answer that question? Do you like sports? So possible answers are yes, I like sports, good job you, or no, I don't like sports, this is totally fine, I'm a couch potato, I don't like sports, great, okay, good. The second question, the second question is how often do you exercise, how often? You see that I uh, highlighted how, how often because this is a question word, how often, okay, how often do you exercise? What would you answer this question? Now, the possible answers are, I never exercise, totally me, never exercise, or I exercise once a week, I exercise twice a week, I exercise often, okay, if it's more than twice a week, I believe, or I exercise sometimes, okay? Which one is here? All right, the next question I would like to ask you is, what kinds of sports do you guys know? What kinds of sports do you guys know? What are some common sports that everybody knows? Think about it. So possible answers are soccer, of course. We can say football as well. Uh, basketball and tennis. And of course, there are a lot, a lot, a lot more. And today we're also going to learn about them. We're going to talk today about Olympic sports, okay? Before reading the text and doing any exercises, let's take a look at the vocabulary. So on the left, you may see the list of, uh, of the new words, maybe not that new for some of you, and this is fine. Um, and think of how would, you, how would you explain those words to people who know only English or your only common language is English. How would you explain this word to them? Don't only, don't only think of a translation. Think of how, of how you could explain this word. Think of a definition. Now, the first word is competed. Competed. The basic uh, form of the verb is to compete. Competed, we say when we speak in the past. I can say I competed, my mom competed, my, my baby competed. Okay, uh, when we speak in the past, sometimes we add ed, we add them for regular verbs, okay? So what is competed? Competed, to compete is to strive to win something by defeating others, okay? If I want to win something, I have to defeat others and I compete, okay? On the right, you may see the translation to your own language if my um, explanation wasn't... Uh, uh, fully clear. Uh, the next word is unusual. What is unusual? How would you explain that? Unusual. Unusual is something that is not common. 
what can be unusual? We are in a very unusual situation right now. I'm teaching you through the video, <laughs> not in a class. This is very unusual. I highlighted un, un, and usually, usually, unusual. Uh, sometimes when we have un in the beginning, un, uh, this is something negative, okay? Unusual. Um, the next word, the next word is opposite. Opposite. Uh, opposite, white is the opposite of black. Right, right, is the opposite of left, okay? Opposite is something on the other side that is opposite. And the next one is continue. Continue. Um, in class, uh, if you're reading something, sometimes your teacher tells you to continue, to carry on. To carry on it is a synonym of a word continue. If you remember, synonym, or if you don't know, I'm going to tell you now. A synonym is a word with the same meaning, okay? Uh, so continue and carry on are synonyms. Uh, the next word is competitors. Competitors, again, uh, one competitor, two competitors, many competitors, okay? Uh, so a competitor is a person, okay? Competitors are people, uh, those who want to win by defeating others, those who compete are competitors, okay? We add S for nouns when we speak in plural. Plural is when we speak, uh, when we want to say that there are many things, okay? That is competitors, okay? And S in the end. Uh, the next word is similar. Similar. What is similar? How would you explain that word to someone who knows only English or the only common language for you is English? What is similar? Similar is the same. I can say that I have a similar taste in clothes with my mom. We sometimes exchange clothes, why not? Okay, we have the similar, similar tastes, we like the same things, okay? That is similar. The next word is points, okay? One point, again, one point and two points, many points. And you get points at Bagrut examination, you get points in competition, okay? Uh, we can also say that you are getting Scores, okay? Points, the synonym of points is scores, okay? Now, uh, let's continue, let's carry on. The next word is disappeared, disappeared. To disappear is a basic form, disappeared when we speak in the past, okay? When I'm not here anymore, I disappeared, okay? Um, all right, so disappear, to disappear is to be lost and to go missing. When I'm not there anymore, I, uh, I, I leave. <laughs> okay, so this is disappeared. The next word is competition. The next word is competition. You already, uh, on, on the previous slide, you saw a word, uh, competitors. This one is a competition. Uh, competition is a contest. Okay, um, this is an event in which competitors take part in, okay? I highlighted T-I-O-N in order to show you that sometimes T-I-O-N in the end is used uh, to speak about the noun, okay? Sometimes. So that is a competition. The next one is exciting, okay? Something exciting is causing enthusiasm, okay? What can be exciting? It's very exciting to go outside, outside nowadays. I was very excited on my way here, okay? That is very exciting, causes me enthusiasm, okay? This is exciting. The next one is to pull, okay? To pull is to move in a specified direction. How do I pull? I can pull something out of my bag. I can pull, um, I can't think of any other ideas. Maybe you can think of some ideas. What can you pull, okay? So that is pull, move in a specified direction, okay? And the next word is team. Um, how could you say team in one word? Team is a group, okay? Uh, there could be a football team, soccer team, basketball team, if we're speaking about sports, just like we do here, okay? Um, yeah, so that is a team. And the last word, but not least, is once. Once, one time, that is once, 
okay? Once a week, I try to go to the gym, not always succeed, only once a week, okay? Fine, now um, we just have gone over the list of the words, new, maybe not that new, uh, good job for you who participated. Now let's do a short exercise before we start reading an article. Now in this exercise you need to match the words to their definitions. On the top you may see the words and on the left in the table you see the definitions. Okay, so we've got disappeared, to disappear, competition, exciting, pool, opposite, continue. Okay, so the first one is be lost and go missing. Be lost and go missing. When I am lost and when I go missing, I disappear. Okay, so the correct answer is disappeared. The next one is to move in a specified direction. Okay, when I'm looking for my phone and I sort of move it, <laughs> okay, from when I find it in my bag and then I move it, I pull it, okay, out of my bag, right? The correct answer is pull. Um, the next one is on the other side. What do you think is the correct answer for that? What is on the other side? The, on the other side, just as, just as I give you, um, just as I said before, White is the opposite of black, and it's on the other side. The next one is a contest. A contest is a synonym of, of competition, correct, for those who have answered correctly, for those who didn't, good uh, job for trying. The next one is carry on. To carry on, I may not stop, I should, I should carry on, and I should continue. And the last word, it's pretty obvious because it's the last one and the only one left, causing enthusiasm is something that is exciting. Okay, so good job for those who tried, the, the good job for those who participated and uh, answered, uh, did the first exercise and succeeded in it, so great job. Okay, now let's move on to reading. Uh, and this is the, uh, you, you may see the first paragraph. So the name of the article is Olympic Sports. It's Olympic Sports. Uh, Today's Olympic Games do not have the same sports events as in the past. Some sports disappeared from the games because people got bored watching them. Another reason is that new sports become popular all the time. When this happens, the less popular Olympic sports have to go. Okay, so the first paragraph have talked, uh, talked about sport events that, uh, that disappeared. And I already highlighted some of the important, some of the important points here. Okay, let's take a look at the first question. The first question is asking us, why did some sports disappear from the Olympic Games? Why is a question word. If you are asked why, you need to look for reasons. You need to look for uh, something that caused for something to happen. Now here you need to find what caused sports to disappear, some sports to disappear from the Olympic Games. Okay, now sometimes uh, a word because may help us to answer this question. Usually uh, after a word because you may find a reason for something. Okay, now here it's clearly st stated that some sports disappeared. This is something that you could see in the question. Some sports disappeared because first people Sorry, people got bored watching them, okay? Hope you're not getting bored of watching me, okay? And I'm not going to disappear anytime soon. Uh, okay, so this is the first reason. And another reason, they actually tell us straightforward, another reason is that new sports become popular all the time. And these are obviously the answers to our uh, first question, okay? Uh, good. Olympic sports, let's continue to the second paragraph. Which sports events have disappeared from the Olympics over the years? In the past, 
there were many unusual swimming competitions. In 1900, for example, there was an unusual race at the Olympics in Paris, France. Swimmers had to jump into the Seine River, swim to some boats, climb over them, and then continue swimming as fast as they could to finish. Okay. So the first unusual uh, competition uh, that already disappeared from the Olympics is swimming. Uh, it's a swimming competition, okay? And they're giving us an example of uh, one of those competitions that took place in 1900 in uh, Paris. And it was a pretty complicated competition uh, because swimmers first had to jump in the river, then swim to some boats, then climb over them, and then continue swimming as fast as they could, okay? How hard is that? I'm not sure how interesting is that, but pretty hard, pretty difficult to uh, do, okay? Um, yeah, now I already highlighted numbers, uh, one number here, and uh, the name of the river, and I should have highlighted also Paris, France, and Olympics. This technique is called uh, scanning. When you're scanning, for big letters, for capital letters, and for numbers. Sometimes they provide us some important information about the article or text that you're reading. Okay, uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the question. Um, the question number two, write the meaning of numbers and names. Okay, this is not enough if you're just copying whatever comes after the number. You should actually think about the meaning of uh, of the number or of the name, okay? Uh, and for um, and make a sentence a sentence that is that is logical, okay? So 1900. What's what is that? First of all, what is that? Think about it. 1900. First of all, is a year correctly? What what happened in that year? What happened in that year? Do you guys remember? Take a look. In 1900, for example, you probably should not include that in your answer. There was an unusual race at the Olympics in Paris, France. So let's see if you already, you have already gotten the correct answer. Okay, 1900, the year of the unusual swimming race at the Olympics in Paris. Okay, and this is the correct answer. Obviously, you should not include, for example, in your, in your answer because this just doesn't match your question, okay? The next one is uh, Seine River, okay? What is Seine River? Okay, they already tell us that this is a river, right? Okay, it makes our mission a little bit easier, okay? Seine River, but what happened there? What competitors had to do with that, uh, with the river? Swimmers had to jump into the sea, uh, Seine River, swim to some boats, climb over them, and then continue swimming as fast as they could to the finish. Okay, this seems like a pretty long answer. What would you answer? How would you make a sentence? Okay, Seine River is the river where competitors had to swim. Okay, this one is this answer is enough. You really should not uh, include all of the all of the all of the answer, right? Okay, all, all these lines, I'd say. Okay, uh, you need to speak about the core of the question. Okay, you only need to answer the question. You need to let uh, whoever is checking you to uh, let them know that you understand what you are being asked. Okay. Um, the, and the last paragraph for now until the break. Uh, another race was to see how far swimmers could go without moving their arms and legs. Can you imagine that like that? Okay. Um, without moving your arms and legs. There was also an, a, an underwater race. This is the second one. This race was held only once in 1904 in St. Louis in USA. And in this race, swimmers had to swim underwater and they got points for how long they could hold their breath, okay? So that you could not even breathe, okay? How dangerous is that? Maybe exciting, okay? Let's take a look at the, um, at the question. 
okay? And this uh, question is the same as the previous one. You need to write the meaning of numbers and names. 1904 is pretty similar to what you have seen before. 1904 is, first of all, a year, okay? But what year is that? What's the meaning of it? 1904 is the year when the underwater race took place, okay? Because uh, you may see the highlighted number. And before that, you had um, a sentence where what, what, that, that told us what actually happened. There was also an underwater race. And this race, what race? The, uh, the underlined race and underwater race took place in 1904. And St. Louis is it's in the same sentence, right? St. Louis is obviously a place and it's the city in the USA where the underwater race took place, okay? Um, good, so thank you very much for participating, for answering the questions. You did a really good job for those who participated. Okay, now you're going to have a 10 minute break. Uh, go grab some uh, tea and cookies.
right, so uh, welcome back. I hope you had um, a nice break. Uh, let's continue. Uh, and let's move on with our text. Let's move on with the next paragraph. I'm reminding you that we, we talked about Olympic sports. Um, yeah, and about some sports that have already disappeared uh, from the uh, Olympic Games. And we also talked about the reasons why, because people got bored of them, okay? And we already talked about the examples of sports, about some sports that have already disappeared. And it was a swimming race, um, underwater swimming race, and other swimming races, okay? And let's uh, move on to uh, the other sports and in the next paragraph. Now, the next paragraph. Other popular sports events were similar to summer camp games. Have you ever been to summer camp games? So imagine, have you ever played <laughs> summer camp games? So imagine that it, it also existed uh, in Olympic sports, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an Olympiad, I'm sorry. Rope, or rope climbing, for example, was in four Olympics. Uh, there was also a tug of war competition what is tug of war? Tug of war, uh, you may see it also on the picture from on your right, okay, the picture on your right. Here, two teams pulled on opposite ends of a rope and the strongest team won, okay? So you may see here one of the teams and they're pulling, do you remember that word, to pull? Okay, they're pulling into specified direction, so they're moving into, they're pulling into their direction uh, a rope, okay? And the strongest team won. At the time, anybody who wanted to be in the Olympics could compete, okay? So that means anyone, uh, if anyone, anybody could uh, compete, it means that even you, even me, uh, could have uh, taken part in this um, competition, okay, in the Olympics. In 1908, for example, a team of police officers won the tug of war at the Olympics in London, England, okay? So on the right, you may see uh, the picture, okay? So this is a team of police, uh, police officers that took part in the Olympics in 1908 and won, okay? So let's look at the questions. The, the third question goes like this. Which sports were similar to summer camp games? Do you remember uh, the word similar? Similar, something is the same, uh, okay? Which is a question word usually, um, sometimes, okay? Usually when, uh, we, when, uh, when they're asking us which, uh, you need to look for something or someone Okay, in this case, you need to look for something. Which sports were similar to summer camp games? Okay, let's look for the answer. Take a look at the text again on your left. Okay, um, so we actually had two examples of summer camp games. I already highlighted summer camp games. And the first example is rope climbing. Okay, and we also have a word for example. Oh, oops. For example, okay, rope climbing. And there was another uh, camp game, tug of war. Okay, tug of war. Um, all right, and so what's the answer? Would you, would you include a word for example? Let's see what's the answer. The answer is rope climbing and tug of war. It's unnecessary to include a word for example because this does not answer our question. We only needed to say which sports, okay? Which? Rope climbing and tug of war. That's it, okay? The next question. What happened in 1908? So I already highlighted 1908. Okay, let's go back to that sentence. In 1908, for example, a team of police officers won the tug of war at the Olympics in London, England, okay? This is pretty special because nowadays only professional sportsmen uh, participate in Olympic Games, okay? But then what happened? A team of police officers won the tug of war at the Olympics, 
okay? So good job for those who succeeded, good job for those who tried, okay? Um, so let's move on in the next paragraph. There were also strange shooting competitions, strange, weird, okay? We can also say that it's something unusual. Do you remember a word unusual? Okay, also strange shooting competition, uh, competitions. In one competition, competitors had to shoot at a moving paper deer, okay? A deer, an animal, if you guys um, remember what it is, okay, an animal, a deer. Uh, so they had a moving paper deer that they had to shoot. How weird is that? In another competition, they shot at paper men who were wearing evening clothes. Also, how strange is that? Okay, uh, so this so this art and so this paragraph talks about two competitions. Both of them were strange. Okay, and the question goes like this: Why shooting competitions were strange? So when we're asking you, the text is asking you why. You need to look for for a reason. Okay, why shooting competitions were strange. I have already highlighted the relevant um, words, um, the relevant sentences, okay? Competitors had to shoot a moving paper deer. Is that something usual? No, okay? This is something very strange, okay? Where would you see that, okay? How is that even sport? Maybe it is, okay? I'm not a professional on the couch potato. I already told that, uh, said that in the beginning. Okay, and in another competition, okay, because they're asking us about competitions, they're, uh, in another competition, they shot a paper men, which is pretty similar, okay, to the previous competition. Okay, so why shooting competitions were strange? Because competitors had to shoot a moving paper deer or paper men, okay? So this is a possible answer. You could also say that in one competition, they had to shoot a paper a deer, uh, in another one they had to shoot a paper men, and this is fine, okay? Both, both of these answers are uh, fine, okay? Uh, good. The last paragraph for uh, today, um, but all this is in the past. All this is in the past. Today, there are many new competitions in the Beijing Olympics in China, for example, there was a BMX biking competition that you may see here on uh, this picture, okay? A BMX biking competition for the first time. In the next Olympics, we will again see exciting new sports. Which new sport do you hope to see, okay? All right, so um, they, basically what they're telling us in this paragraph is that all of these competitions, strange or not strange, dangerous, are in the past, okay? Now there are many new kinds of sports, many new competitions, and one of them is a BMX biking competition, all right? Uh, yeah, and let's see what's the last question. So the last question, what example of a new competition is given? Okay, so they're asking us to give in example and we uh, luckily we have a word for example in the text okay now um, some students some students uh, when they answer the question they um, look for the word in uh, in the question and then they copy the same the same word in the answer okay don't do that. Just answer the question. Think of uh, what you are being asked, what they want you to answer. Okay, now they're asking you to give an example. Don't say example, example. Just say, just answer. Okay, now for example, there was a BMX biking competition. The question word is what, and when they're asking you what, you usually need to answer a noun. Okay, so BMX by biking competition for the first time. What is the answer to this question? A BMX biking competition, obviously, and there was only one example. Okay, so we're done with a text. Good job for those who have uh, followed, for those who have participated, for those who have tried. Okay, hopefully it was informative. You learned something new. 
Okay, so let's move on to some vocabulary practice now. Okay, now um, in this exercise, you need to complete the sentences with the words below. Now, these words are taken from the table that I presented in the very beginning before the break. Okay, let's see. Competed, unusual, opposite, continue, competitors, and similar. Okay, uh, so the first sentence. Small is the something of big. Small is unusual of big. Small is competed of big. What is the correct answer? Let's see. Okay, so let's check. Small is the opposite of big. Great job, okay? Small is the opposite of big. Number two, 50 boats, something in the race. 50 boats, something in the race. What did they do? So 50 boats continue in the race. 50 boats competitors in the race, okay? Or something else, take a look, okay? What do you think is the correct answer? Number two, 50 boats competed in the race, okay? Um, yeah, so competed is a verb. As some of you may have thought that it could be competitors, but competitor is, is a noun. And if you wanted to say 50 boats competitors, you need to see 50 boats are competitors, okay? Because we use to be verb in order to describe something, okay? Uh, so the correct answer is competed. Number three. We like the same things. We have something interests, okay? Like me and my mother, we have, okay, we have the same, we have the same uh, taste in clothes, all right? So we have similar interests, okay? And this is the correct answer, good. Number four, the people in a race are the something. So what are they? Are they unusual? Maybe, okay? Are they continue? Doesn't sound right. They probably are competitors, and that is the correct answer. They are competitors. Number five, you don't have to finish the work today. You can tomorrow, you can unusual tomorrow, or you can continue tomorrow. Obviously, the answer is continue tomorrow. And the last one, uh, I saw a movie about the strangest and the most unusual, of course, animals in the world, okay? A word unusual, something that is not regular, okay? That is unusual. All right, great, great job uh, doing this exercise. Hopefully uh, you succeeded. Great, great job for those who su su succeeded. Great job for those who tried, okay? Let's move on to the last exercise for today. Okay, this one is a little bit more complicated because uh, here the words are used in a text. Okay, um, yeah, and this is the passage and you need to complete the passage with the words below. And again, you've got the list of words, points, right? Disappeared to pull something, competition once. For somehow you have competition for the, um, for the second time. A team and exciting. Okay, sports day. Sports day. Last week, we had an unusual sports day at our school. It started with a tug of war. What is tug of war? Do you guys remember? What is a tug of war? Okay, when you pull in a specific direction, there are two, uh, two groups, two teams. Okay, and those who uh, succeed to pull it harder, those win. And um, okay, so it started with a tug of war competition, obviously, uh, competition. We had to, what? A big rope, we had to pull a big rope. It was really, it was really, how was it? It was really exciting, okay? The correct answer is exciting. Good job for those who picked it up, good. Uh, so it was really exciting. We tried to win, but the other, the other what? The other, what do you think is the correct answer? The other points is stronger, maybe? Um, okay, the other team was stronger, okay? Do you remember what is a team? We can also say a group, okay? We can also say 
uh, yeah, team. And there was also a strange swimming race. Do you guys remember we talked about a swimming? We talked about strange swimming races previously. Those who uh, those which in in those which uh, you had to swim underwater or you had to swim without using your arms or legs. Okay, and this one was also a very strange swimming race. Okay, we had to keep our heads under water and we got something for holding our breath. Okay, so what did we get? We got disappeared, we got once, or we got points, correct. Okay, so we got points for holding our breath. Good job. Okay, uh, all right, so we have only one left and we've got three words on the top. Too bad they something from the program. They were a lot of fun. So too bad they, they disappeared from the program. Okay, because there were a lot of fun to disappear. As you guys remember, it means to go missing. Okay, and not to exist anymore. That's to disappear. Okay, to go away. All right, good job. So in this lesson today, we uh, did a really, really hard work for those who participated, for those who tried. Great job. We talked today about Olympic sports. We started with the speaking exercise. You guys answered some questions that I asked. You spoke English. Then we spoke, uh, then we went over some new words. Maybe not that new, but the definitions were definitely new. Okay. And you had to explain those words to people that know only English or the only common language you have is English. Okay. This is something new for you. Uh, so that is, uh, so this, this was the second thing that we did. After that, we did a vocabulary, a short vocabulary exercise. Then we read a text about Olympic sports that have already disappeared. And then we did uh, two exercises on vocabulary practice. Now, I asked you previously in the beginning of the lesson, I asked you to download uh, the uh, barcode scanner. Now you may now scan the, scan the code that you see on your screen at the moment and uh, click on it. And uh, there you will find a list of the words that I uh, presented in the beginning of the lesson. Okay, and you can do an additional practice on a site that is called Quizlet. You've got different activities over there. You can match the words, you can write them, you can, uh, you can actually hear them. Okay, uh, for those who are not sure how to pronounce the words, you can, um, you can hear them and then repeat them. Okay, that also improves your speaking skills, your pronunciation. Okay, and you can do all of that on a Quizlet. All right. Uh, I really enjoyed having a lesson with you today. I really enjoyed teaching you today. Uh, hopefully that you've learned some new things um, and uh, you enjoy learning at home. Uh, hopefully we will come back to schools uh, soon and you will see your teachers in class and I'm going to see my students. I'm, uh, um, I really miss you guys for those who are watching me. Um, yeah, so thank you for your attention. Have a great uh, Passover vacation and uh, have fun at home. Bye.